Hey, this is Joe from Personas, and this is the Personas Revelator USB microphone. In this video, I want to show you how easy it is to record a guitar vocal with just the Revelator. Why do I say just the Revelator? Because when you buy a Revelator, it comes with the recording software you need. So literally, the only other thing you need is a set of headphones, and you're good to go. I plug a USB cable from the Revelator into my computer. I plug the headphone cable into the Revelator. Plugs right here in the bottom. I install the included software, and I'm off to the races. Let me show you how. Okay, this is Studio One Artist. I've been a Studio One user for years, long before I came to work for Personas. The Artist version sells normally for $99, but you get it included for free with the Revelator. Once you register your Revelator on our website, you get access to the installer, you install Studio One, and here it is ready to go. The first thing I wanna do is under the setup section, I wanna make sure that I've selected the Revelator as my audio device for recording and mixing and playback. So I click on that button and I come in here and I choose Revelator. Bam, it's changed to Revelator. I say, okay, we're good to go. I'm gonna create a new song. So I hit new song. We're just gonna create a completely new song called Revelator. And here we go. Here's our blank song. Now, anytime you open up a new piece of software, it can be intimidating. And Studio One can do a lot of things. However, if you wanna keep it real simple and just record your voice and record your guitar, we can absolutely do that, no problem. First thing I wanna do is create a new track. So I come up here to track, add tracks. And we'll call this, yeah, acoustic sounds great. And I say, okay. Now, here is the place where I'm going to record my audio for my acoustic guitar. But I need to make sure I've set it to the right input. So I come in here and I check input one is mic one. I think that's gonna be right. I turn the recording on on that track, so I enable that track to start recording. I start talking, check, 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 and I can see, oh, check it out, I've got signal right there. I can literally start recording right now. I press the record button down here. Doobity doobity doo, I'm now recording. I stop recording, I hit spacebar, it goes back, I hit play here, doobity doobity doo, I'm now recording. It's that simple, we've recorded a track. So let's do that with a guitar. I'm gonna move the microphone down, grab my guitar here, and record something. Okay, I've got the mic in front of the guitar, but it's a little too hot. I don't want that level to be so loud, so I'm gonna turn it down. If I open up my mixer, and I come over here to this little wrench, and I say, show me, Audio device controls, check it out. See that little 30 right there? I can now control the amount of gain or input on this microphone. So I'm literally controlling the microphone from the software. So I turn it down a little bit. Let's strum the guitar again. That feels pretty good to me. Let's record. One, two, three, four. Okay, that guitar track is recorded. Now I wanna record a vocal on top of that. What do I do? Just right click on the track, say, hey, duplicate this. Double click the name, call this vocal. I'm gonna turn recording off on that channel because I'm done, turn recording on on this channel. Now I can follow the same process. Check one, two, hey, 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 it's a little too loud again. So I'm gonna turn this down so that that level is nice and conservative. But now it's too quiet in my headphones. How do I turn up my headphones? Ah, there's a little knob right here on the microphone. I just turn it up and now I can hear myself just fine. Okay, so now let's track a vocal. This is not a story. This is not a story I will write. If I wrote this story, Give myself a battle I can fight. And just like that, we've recorded our first song. Now, if I want to maybe clean up the recording a little bit, I have all the tools available to me. If I click this browse button here, I can see a list of plugins. I can find Pro EQ. I can drag that onto the guitar and I can maybe get rid of a little bit of that low end there. <laughs> And then I can do the same thing for the vocal. Let's say the vocal needs a little extra, little extra brightness to make it sit really well with that guitar. I just drag an EQ on there, 
Let's roll off some of the low frequencies. This is not a story. This is not a story I will write. If I wrote this story, I'd give myself a battle I can fight. As you can probably imagine, there are a thousand more things we can do to this recording once we have it in the computer. But if you're like me, when I first started out, you just want to get some audio into the computer and start having fun recording yourself. You can learn how to do all the other stuff, the adding EQs, compressors, and all that fun stuff. It's out there. It's ready for you when you're ready for it. But if you just want a way to just record your ideas, record yourself playing and listen back, record yourself singing and listen back, maybe record a harmony vocal on top of that, maybe record a lead guitar on top of that. This process, hopefully I've shown, is a very simple thing. You plug in the Revelator, you plug in your headphones, you open up Studio One, create a track, hit record, and go. It's really that easy and that fun. I'm hoping you'll check it out. Head over to personas.com to find out more.